Well, you're likely going to hear and see a lot of this in the coming days. If you haven't already today, we looked into the kinds of fireworks that you can buy at the stands, which are popping up around the Bay Area. They're called right safe here. and sane, but they are really only safe if you enjoy them safely. Crown Force Scott Rays is live in Pacifica tonight. That's one of the areas where fireworks are allowed. Scott, you talked to firefighters about how to enjoy these fireworks safely, especially in this drought. What did they say? Well, they just want people to be responsible, Pam, plain and simple. I'm in Pacifica right now. I'm at the Pacifica Moose Lodge, and they have a fireworks stand set up. It's right over here off to my left-hand side. You can't see it. They have been selling fireworks all day long out here, and I want to bring in one of the uh, main instrument uh, runners of the uh, fireworks stand. This is Jerry Morgan. He was nice enough to uh, lend us one of these, one of these fireworks right here. We shot it off today with the fire inspector, and he kind of walked us through some tips as we lit this. And to demonstrate some fire safety tips, we're going to be using the big one here, the grand finale, the one you just saw there from the fireworks stand. I'm joined by Inspector Preston of the North County Fire Authority. Inspector, walk me through some safety tips here. How, how are we going to do this? Well, Scott, the first thing we want to do is that we want to make sure that we're only using safe and sane fireworks when you have a fireworks display here in the city of Pacifica. And you can tell that by looking for the state fire marshal seal. And the next thing we want to do is want to make sure the area that we're going to shoot this off in. We want to do it in a non combustible area. Here we are either in, in like a driveway and this is an asphalt parking lot. So this is a non will be considered a non combustible surface. It's a safe place to do this. We're at least 20 feet away from any buildings. And you want to have a fully charged garden hose with a shut off nozzle and the hose turned on during the entire time you're shooting off the fireworks. Very good. Uh, okay, so the next step, I guess, go ahead and lay it down. And we we'll lay it down. We'll also, wait. we have some bystanders over here. We want to make sure they're at least 10 feet away. Okay, so I guess let's give it a shot. I'm going to stand 10 feet away. All like right. I said. Here we go. It just finished up. At what point is it safe to get a little bit close to some of these things can spark up again, right? Yeah, you want to wait wait a little while. And uh, you, another thing, too, is you want to make sure you're only lighting one one firework at a time. You don't want right. to have too many going at a time. I'd let it cool down, you uh -huh. know, maybe wait at least an hour, okay. and then dispose of these by putting them in a uh, bucket of water. So there you go, some uh, good tips there and a little bit of a show for you on the 4th of July. Now I did check with that inspector, he tells me that anybody caught shooting off illegal fireworks, those things that go way up in the air, could face up to a $1,000 fine. Reporting live in Pacifica, Scott Rates, Cron 4 News. Crown 4 will bring you the biggest and best fireworks shows live from all around the Bay Area tomorrow night from San Francisco to Marin County, Pleasanton, San Jose, and across the country as well. You can catch the July 4th fireworks special right here on Crown 4 tomorrow night at 9 p.m.